name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic. And today we're going to talk about compatibilities between a Taurus Gemini cusp and a Aries. Oh man! So Aries would be a really fun sign for you. However, they can be very draining. You see, they have a very different type of energy than you have. And energy is what you're all about. It's what you're trying to balance. So an Aries will kind of add a charge to that energy. And that can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. You might find an Aries needing to be in charge or in control, but you hate feeling like you're losing control and you hate feeling like someone is dominating you. Unless you're in the bedroom. You would be very stubborn. And you find yourself trying to avoid the subject or change the conversation direction or needing to cool down or take a chill pill just to kind of keep things less intense because they will get very intense. Drama, drama, drama. You'll want to have conversations and talk. I mean, you're a communicator, naturally. But will those conversations be just about passion and emotion or will they be more pragmatic? I don't know. Guess you'll have to find out. Taurus Gemini kind of always has a reason for doing things even if they don't say it. So they always have a goal or a way that they're headed, a direction they're going in when they do something. Aries, on the other hand, might not really have an intent. They might just take action without really figuring out, you know, why they're doing it first. So you gotta go and find that balance. They may not have like a direction in mind that they're going. You are both super open with each other, which is great. Honesty is very, very valuable. And this openness will allow you to grow. You both need to really keep moving forward. If one of you feels stuck, things will not go well. You can't bottle up your feeling, you can't bottle up your thoughts, and you have to stay in motion together. You can't lie, you can't like just hold on to it, you can't be passive aggressive, you can't avoid confrontation. You just kind of have to let it go if it's bothering you. Remember to focus on the positive and what you love about your Aries, what you see in them. You don't usually share the same interest as an Aries. You don't usually share chemistry with Aries, whether it's in the bedroom or in love. You're both very independent, you and the Aries. You can both be very supportive and you can both give great advice. You would have trouble finding a way to make room for one another. You both will like how open and straightforward you are with one another, but that won't be enough. You will motivate and inspire an Aries, and an Aries will help balance you, but also give you a drive. And it will allow you to focus on other parts of your life that you don't really usually put a lot of focus on. Your social life may clash. You usually have more of a lone wolf personality and they kind of have their posse. Or one is better at being in a team than the other one. You both need to be very mature to work through things and remember like what's important. You need to be a team and work together. Do fun things together. Don't just talk about doing fun things. Do them. You both are like that. You're doers. You act. So go for it. Don't be your partner's job coach. Let them learn from their mistakes. Be honest from the start for this to work out. You both are honest, both are go-getters, and you both don't give up. And you both are very stubborn. You both kind of like to be in the spotlight. You both kind of like attention when it comes down to it. You might find yourself being kind of possessive of your friends. You don't want to share everything with them. You don't want to share your friends with them. You both have very separate worlds and you protect that. Your friends might feel like they have to choose between you and the other person. You both have like amazing energy, so you have like the best of times together, very exciting times. When you have a lot of frustration, you usually work through things in the bedroom, which might mean that you have a very kinky relationship. Taurus Geminis are givers at heart, and they kind of like to please especially when it comes to Aries as their partner. Aries likes 
praised. They like to be served. They look really good on paper and they can definitely put on a show. Always try to take responsibility for any argument. Pick your battles. Aries will make you laugh. Less anxiety that way. Find a way to laugh together, laugh it off. Aries are motivated by you to follow their dreams and their art. You can be selfish. The passion might be intense, but it does burn out. You might have the best intentions, but an Aries might see it differently. They may not appreciate a gesture as much. Passion fizzles out and they move on quickly. Make sure they're honest about their feelings. Never stop growing. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay, so that was the compatibility between a Taurus, Gemini, and an Aries. Remember, I will go into all the compatibilities with your sign and other signs, so please stay tuned for more. Um, also, if you have any experiences with an Aries and you are a Taurus, Gemini, I would love to hear your feedback on this. I mean, this is a learning experience for me too. Let's start a discussion. And yes, I can't wait to see you. Bye! Subscribe to my channel.